Hi, my name is Francesca Duval and today I'm going to be talking about quail. I have heard from chefs and many people online that 2019 is shaping up to be the year of the quail. We think that they're lovely and we work with a lot of them here on the farm. I had wanted to raise them for 20 years before I brought them to the farm because I love the sounds they make and how prolific they are and the colors of the eggs that they lay. So today we're going to talk about what kind of setup you need if you do want to bring quail into your life. How do you brood them? How do you bring them from chicks into adulthood? When do they start laying? All these fun questions. So why have quail? Quail lay beautiful, really fun eggs. We work with two different breeds of quail here on the farm. The Jumbo Caternix, which will lay you a brown speckly egg, and the Blue Egg Laying Quail, which lay you a blue egg with speckles, and the texture of it is almost like sandpaper. Three of these eggs equal one chicken egg, and you can use it just like you would a chicken egg. In baking, you can fry them up, hard boil them, soft boil them, pickle them, whatever you like. Fun fact about these eggs is that a quail female that lays a specific pattern on her egg will lay that same pattern throughout her whole life. It might not look the exact same, but it's always going to be something similar. Like this one, she lays almost a white speckle over the top of her larger exaggerated brown. She will always have this bottom that's brown and thick versus this quail. Totally different totally different shape and this one too kind of a different shade more of a heavy bloom over the top of it so you can connect with the different eggs that are laid and if you have a small enough flock know who's laying them name them and be really connected to your food sources that way we love interesting fun colored eggs for that reason it connects us with our food gets us excited about eating different things helps us treat our animals better and have more respect for them quail are very similar to chickens in that respect. So how do we keep quail? What kind of setup do we want to put them in? The best setup for quail is one in which they feel safe. A safe feeling quail that has plenty of access to clean food and clean water will always lay you lots and lots of eggs. What makes a quail feel safe? Quail feel safe if they are not able to be looked at by predators if they have a space to hide, and if they're fully enclosed in whatever kind of space you give them so that they can't wander out and not find their way back in. Quail are very different than chickens because they don't have that same roosting instinct that a chicken has to come back to the coop that they know each night and to go in and protect themselves. As night falls, quail just hunker down wherever they are and hope they don't get eaten. Now, quail are tasty and every single predator knows it. And so predators will do everything they can to get at your quail. So it's really important, whatever kind of setup you have them in, to make sure that they're fully enclosed and safe. Quail need to have three sides on whatever you're building for them and either a really low roof, low meaning under two feet, or a really high roof over six feet. The reason for that is because when a quail feel threatened, unsafe, they pop up like popcorn and that's how they get away from any possible predator that might be coming to try and get them like a skunk or a raccoon or something. And if the roof is pretty low, they'll pop up and then just come right back down, hit the roof and won't hurt themselves. If the roof is just high enough where they can really get up there and get some speed, they can break their necks. And that would be so sad if you raised your quail up and go out and look and oh, they're all dead, what happened? It could have been a hawk that landed on your setup or a neighborhood cat that ran by and spooked them. So really low roof, or if you had them in some sort of a large aviary setup, give them that really high roof so they don't hurt their heads, but some sort of bramble or brush for them to hide in um, on the ground. If you think about where quail are found in the wild and what their personalities are like in the wild, that's what you wanna be replicating. They live in pretty large groups and you might see them running across the road, but they're always running to, at least here in California, blackberry bushes or some sort of safe, low-lying, scrubby thing. And if, I'm sure you have some sort of uh, foliage like that near you that you can kind of observe and see, well, what are they like and what should I put in their space if you're gonna be giving them a larger aviary. 
I am always trying to give my animals the best here on the farm. So with the chickens, they're out on fresh pasture and plenty of space to roam. And I thought, oh, I should give the quail the same, but no. The most humane thing that you can do for an animal is to make them feel safe and give them plenty of access to that clean food and water so they can lay you lots of eggs. So it might be counterintuitive to put quail in confinement, but that's how they're gonna be safe. When they hatch out, quail chicks are so fast. They're up and they're running, unlike a chicken chick. Chicken chicks kind of stumble around, like maybe they've had a beer or two and they're kind of figuring things out. A quail knows I'm tasty, a lot of me just hatched, everything wants to get me, and so they go. So I think they, they know that uh, they are a prey animal. And so we need to do our best as quail keepers to ensure that they feel safe. It could be something that is a tractor on the ground that has a low lying roof that you move around if you wanna keep them on grass. If you keep them on grass, they don't like their feet to be wet. So you wanna make sure to either move them off of the grass when it becomes really rainy or give them something to stand on or to feel safe uh, so that they don't get wet feet. Um, you could put them in a small rabbit style hutch in your garden. It could even have a grate on the bottom so that their droppings just come through and you could help collect the droppings. That way it makes it really easy to help fertilize your garden or put it in your compost. They really love to dust bathe and the cutest thing ever is an adult quail trying to dust bathe. We just use small little Rubbermaid totes that we put uh, dirt from around the yard in, a little bit of um, soot from our fireplace, things like that, some sand to keep it, keep it kind of damped down so it's not really ploofy and um, dusty for their little lungs. And they'll sit there and they'll just rotate and fluff up in there for a long time. It's, they make the cutest little sounds and they look so happy. Dust bathing is how they stay clean. And so keeping them feeling clean makes them also really happy and they'll lay you a lot of eggs. I hope that you all are really excited by the idea of raising quail and I look forward to connecting with you in the future about them.